What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at some very specific targets. We'll talk about them later in the video. Definitely don't want to miss this. This is going to be very interesting. This could be a crazy weekend. What I'm expecting is a possible break of this area. I'll tell you what this target is. If that breaks, that should become resistance and then we have our next target down here. Otherwise, we do have a possibility of breaking up to this area. We will take a look at specific prices. Definitely stick around. Let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, it's not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. Don't forget, we do a free Ledger Nano S hard wallet giveaway. We do that tomorrow. All you have to do to enter to win is make sure you scroll down, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up, and leave your comments below. Today, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin. We're going to take a look at some specific targets. We're also going to look at Litecoin and Ethereum at the end. So make sure you stick around and let's see what's going on. So... Of course, on the daily, we have been wa we were watching for a break of this trend line. We even came back up, retested it, just like expected. We do have our targets down here of 46.6, which was looking at this as a bear flag up in here. But our main target is the break of this wedge, which was right over here. And that target gets us down to around $40,000 to $41,000 area. Now there is a chance we come up to retest this trend line and that could be somewhere around the 55,000 range somewhere in that area so um, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened but let's take a look at what's going on um, on the four hour so as you guys know we've been watching the four hour rising broadening wedge and we were talking about a break of this trend line i've been talking about this for a long time i expected a retest way back here obviously that didn't happen we did come to retest it here and it broke yesterday we talked about if we were able to get back ahead of this or back on top of this opening and closing a daily which did not happen yet uh, but as of right now let's put this over here uh, it's going to be around the $50,600 range. Uh, if we can open and close the daily above there, then there could be reason to get a little bit bullish. Uh, but otherwise, if we remain below this, this is bearish. I do have another yellow trend line off these two wicks here. That also gets us down to around that $40,000 area um, to come back down and retest it, which definitely is a possibility. If we look at the RSI, there is room to come down here. But that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, the very bearish case scenario here, taking a measure move of that rising broadening wedge from where we broke, and it doesn't mean we go down in one straight candle, guys, but let's take a look at this. Uh, that could get us all the way down to right almost perfectly at the $20,000 range. So um, that is a possibility, and this would happen over you know, weeks or months, I don't think it'll happen in one straight drop. Not saying it can't, but I doubt that that would happen. It would probably be, you know, a longer drawn out process. Maybe something like this. Come back down, come retest this 58.5 area, which we've talked about plenty of times. And it could be months down the road. So um, let's take a look at the wick off method that we had been watching forever we started here i drew an arrow of where we started looking at this where i actually drew this um this blue line in here and it's almost played out exactly as we expected so um again i made a video on it you can check back and i think it was like march 17th somewhere in that area just to see where i was talking about this now the reason I said 58.5 is very important because that's right here um, on this trend line. If we break back above that, there is a possibility we could see new all-time highs sooner. But I believe we're most likely to continue down. We'll get some bouncing in this area, but I do believe we are going to break this uh, 42.8 area, which is the old low over here. Um, the, the, the other important thing a lot of people don't talk about in Wickoff is... The way the volume works, the vo if you're looking at wick off without volume, 
then you're not you're not doing it right this this volume has been playing out perfectly i don't want to go in a whole lot of detail and make the video too long but we're going to look at the more immediate price action here in a minute but first if you guys haven't checked out prime xbt i definitely think you should check it out there's awesome bonuses using my promo codes i'll give you those in a second but you can trade crypto forex gold silver oil s p dow jones everything on one exchange i'll leave a tutorial up top on how to use their margin also you can use co-vesting where you can copy trade other traders definitely worth checking out and my promo codes are savvy 50 that'll get you 50 percent on top of whatever you deposit as a bonus so if you deposit one bitcoin you'll get a half a bitcoin bonus that you can use towards your margin savvy 25 will get you 25 percent off of your fees so this is the chart i'm talking about now this is the one hour as of right now you can see we had a measured move and i'll grab my lines over here these are the measured moves of this we we're looking at a bear flag um, as you guys know if you've been watching the channel we were looking at this for a while and how i like to measure me these are off a break so if we put a line up here on these two wicks this is where the break was and that's where i would measure my flagpole and we bring it over to here where we broke and it actually that target would be around that 46.5 range so i am still looking for that as of right now um i'm sorry that was the wrong measured move so here it is right here it's actually a little bit lower than that we're looking more towards the 46 to 46.5 range still pretty much the same area these targets aren't exact guys um so if we were to bounce up though we, I've, as you can see, I've copied this bottom trend line. Either way, this bottom one here looks like a uh, looks like a bear flag. It could be a bear pennant or a bear flag. If we come up and get one more bounce up here, that 200 EMA is right around this area, and the reason I and that's around the 53,000. Now let's take a look. If we were to bounce up here, which is looking less likely, it looks more like we're going to break down. But if we were to break up here come retest that and then break um, i'm still looking for this target so if we get up to that 53 6 area um, i'd be looking to add to my shorts otherwise um, i'm looking for this to be our first area that will probably get a bounce here and once that becomes resistance then we go back down to our next target which I've had for quite some time. And I do believe that's going to be around, like I said, between the 40 and 42,000 range would be my measured move from that bigger rising wedge that we just took a look at. Now let's take a look at the RSI. So in the RSI, you can see I have a channel drawn in here. If we break the bottom of this channel in the one hour RSI and we close below it, then I think that would be the break of this triangle and we're headed down to these levels. Um, a retest of the top up here. I don't know if you guys can see that. A retest of the top up here um, would get us up to that 53, 53, 5 area, somewhere in that range, which would also be the 200 EMA. So safe to say, if we break this bottom trend line here um, in the RSI, close an hourly below it, then we can look for these targets. I would take my first profit here. Um, and if again, if this breaks through and this becomes resistance, then I'm looking for the 40 to $42,000 range. Um, so this is the weekly as of right now, we are getting rejected at the 13 EMA, which is around that 50,000 range. Um, nothing really surprising here. Our funding rate. Well, that's on the weekly. Let's put it on the daily and look at our funding rate here. Uh, put on the daily the funding rates favoring the bears and one more thing I want to point out if we look at the EMAs here if you guys haven't checked out my EMA strategy definitely check it out I'll leave a tutorial up top there's other ones in there too like uh, how to look for formations how to use your RSI uh, quite a few helpful ones in there definitely check them out but the EMAs here are crossing bearish uh, if we do get a push up we can you know turn this all around here but otherwise 
Uh, if this 21 crosses this 55 within the next few days, that's going to be extremely, extremely bearish for Bitcoin. So pay attention to that. Like I said, check out those tutorials. Um, so we drew this yesterday looking at this as a, a one, two, and we forming three here possibly if three is not. And let me let me put this in there because a lot of people get confused with this. If you're familiar with Elliott Wave, it's not quite as confusing. But looking at this as a bigger one, two, this being three or three is not done yet. Either way, there's five waves within this three here. So let me get that out of there. But anyways, looking at this right now, um, we talked about this yesterday. I threw the fibs on here from the swing low to the swing high. Uh, we broke the 0.236 fib, which is around 50,600 if we... Cannot get back above that. Our next target's around that 41.6, which, again, matches up with what we looked at right over here. Um, so it makes a lot of sense that we'll probably be coming down to around that 41.6 area. Um, if that, and once we hit that, we could get a nice bounce, come up and retest this area. And again, as high as that 58.5, we could do a retest. Everybody would get extremely bullish in here, probably start buying again, um, and then coming back down but if we do break this 41.6 our next level of support it's going to be around the 34.4 which is a 0.5 fib and lower than that would be the golden pocket zone and around 27.3 uh, somewhere in that area again guys this could take months this could we could be starting a bear market it's a possibility i know a lot of people don't like to hear that but it is possible i'm not saying it's happened but if this is just a wave four coming down now and you can see how long two took to play out. So four should take about the same time. And that was quite some time. That was months in that area. So wave four could take months. But if we put, uh, let's go from here and back up to here, the Fibonacci extension, if we were to get our bounce at 41.6, and that was the end of wave four, we could be looking at a... $80,000 Bitcoin. If we drop all the way down to the 34.4 and that's wave four, we could be looking at a 73 to $75,000 Bitcoin. And if we go all the way back down to the 27,000 range, then we would probably just get a wave five to just barely break this wave three here and then continue down and have a blow off top. Uh, again, that's if this is wave four. Now, we could have already finished it and i'll show you it could have been something like this wave three over here wave four here and this was wave five because i showed you over here this could be an ending fifth wave diagonal which is pretty damn bearish um so be careful um uh, i wouldn't expect to go to the moon and i don't expect to drop down in one red candle either um, that's the beauty about trading guys uh, check out Bybit too. They're doing a $1,050 bonus giveaway by using my link down below. I also have other links down below where you can get some bonuses and special things. Definitely check it out. If you're looking for a hard wallet, uh, there's also Bitcoin IRA down there. If you wanted to start a, a retirement using crypto, that is the place to do it. Also, Weeble, um, if you want to get into traditional stocks and uh, trading futures, stuff like that, definitely check them out. I think you get some free stocks for signing up with Weeble too. But um, anyway, that's what I'm looking at here, guys. If this 56.6 uh, remains resistance, my next target's around that 41.6, which I also showed you over here in this bear flag. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin, what I'm looking at here is around the 197 you know, 190 to $200 range, depending on if, when, and where it retests this bottom. Uh, trend line of the rising broadening wedge we hit our top target almost perfectly anyone that shorted there congrats uh, but if we do break this area and that would consist with bitcoin going down further than the 41.6 but this could drop down into this range probably around the same time bitcoin would hit that 46 area that first target we might get a bounce here but a break of this trend line for Litecoin, the measured move of that is around 
uh, right around $50. Um, and again, I wouldn't expect that to happen in one shot. What I would expect is maybe something like this. Uh, if it did break, we might stick around here for a while, but this could be, you know, years or a year or more. Uh, it could take some time if we are starting a bear market. Uh, same thing with Ethereum. I did move this bottom trend line here, guys. I used to have it off these wicks, uh, but right now this is the way I'm looking at it. In the very bullish case scenario, we come up, test the top of this around 32 to 3300. Uh, I still have this target of a possibility of getting up to this 2750. It's not looking like it's going to happen as of right now. It does look like we're most likely going to test the bottom of this wedge. If the bottom of this wedge were to break, the measured move of that gets us down to about a $640 Ethereum. But if we look at the RSI here, we do have room to come up for one more touch up here. Uh, that's probably going to be around that 2750 if it was to happen. But looking, looking at the RSI here, it does look like it's possibly coming down, guys, to retest this. If that breaks, that would break the uh, this area right here at the 1900. And again, this target would be over the next year or so, in my opinion. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. Check out my wife's webpage, inkyourimage.com. A lot of cool crypto swag on here. Uh, T-shirts, hats, coffee mugs, all kinds of stuff. Uh, she also does tons of other stuff. She can put pictures on all kinds of stuff, whatever you want as gift items. If you have any gift ideas, you can put whatever you want on any of this stuff. Uh, thanks a lot for watching again. Don't forget to smash the likes. Leave your comments down below. Share the video if you get anything out of them. And uh, let me know what you think. Do you think it's possible the bear market has started? Or do you think that we have much higher to go? This is wave four. We get a bounce. Uh, the end of the year is going to be just moonshot. What do you think? Let me know. And guys, one more thing. Take care of yourselves. Eat right. I'm, most of you know I've had some things going on personally. Just want to let you guys know um, we are not invincible. Definitely eat right. Take care of yourself. And uh, spend as much time with loved ones as you can. Take it easy, guys. I'm out.